what a crazy Olympia. We have reached the end of the 2020 Olympia experience. And first, I want to thank Brandon Curry for sponsoring female bodybuilding challenges coverage because without them, the ladies wouldn't have got some extra coverage. And for that, we will forever be grateful. So female bodybuilding channel and all one fan nutrition got the hookup. And guys, we are just going to end it with three minutes in in up in what call how do you say it in up how do you say the word in abrupted I'm, I'm butchering my english uninterrupted so guys each uh participant you all have your own role mm -hmm. during my olympia weekend i'm so proud chris pop media obviously there's no yeah. who did more who did what you're all valuable members of my experience chris did an amazing job on pop media i really really you show me a lot I've never learned so much from a man in my life in such a f short time I did as I did with you. So thank you for that. George, I'm so happy seeing how happy you were in the studio. Loved it. And that gift, uh, you gave me a gift by me seeing how happy you was. Because I really, wow, look how happy. And that made me so happy. Nigel, we're going to talk later also because we got a lot of things to talk about. But Nigel, you are a star and we're going to do some things together, correct? Yep. And I really love you. Amir, the first time I met you, I liked you. We had a long <laughs> ride. You had had some things in your life that didn't go your way. I believe this is a sign you were MD. You took your shirt off. You were smiling. You were speaking to the Iranian people as a bodybuilder. You were on your first ever cover on MD, remember? Yeah. With another beautiful, I'm sorry, with another beautiful woman from Iran, Mariam Babad. You represented your country well. Um, thank you for coming on my show. And I really enjoyed to see how happy you were when you were flexing. Then, I really appreciate you to be here. Thank you. And Chris, I want to call you also later because I think you have an announcement you're going to do to me personal, correct? <laughs> anyway, Chris. I love you like your brother. You've done a lot for me. And it's a sh No, never think about anyone else. I believe this is the start of a new journey for you. I'm happy to take that journey with you when the world opens up because I believe that none, you and me are not as happy where we live right now and we're going to try to make something about it, correct? Because if you are in an environment that you're not enjoy, you will never be happy if you keep staying in it, correct? Correct. So thank you very much, and I'll call you later. And with that, Nigel, take us each person. And Chris, you're going to be part of this. Each person, we have more people. We have Greg. Nigel, he couldn't make it today. I'm going to reach out to him later. I called him, but he didn't pick up. And out of respect of our producer from Me Pop Media, we want to have some McDonald's and go home and watch reruns of Olympia. But that's why you are going to and nigel and the dictator we cannot yeah. fuss out they sat in my chair I th if you're watching i love you i thank you for coming on and we're going to do something in the future Respect him. who's the other person i don't want to be disrespectful it's another person we met and that is gregory he's not here and i'm going to call him later so i love you a lot with that three minutes interrupted your guys feeling about this olympia we're going to start with george Right, well, I'd like to start with uh, the classic. I thought Chris Bumstead was a clear winner. I thought he represents classic bodybuilding really well. He represents the moustache really well also. Mm. Nobody else will get away with a moustache like him. Terence Ruffin, I'm so pleased for him. Sixth place up to second place. The best routine out of the whole two days. I'm so impressed by him. And... I thought he really pushed Chris a lot more than Breon. Now, Breon, um, I think we can agree, Nigel, his hair should have been shorter. It made his, he it made his head look too big. I thought Breon, I think he could be good for open bodybuilding. This wasn't his day. Now, in the open, when I was watching it, I thought it could go anyway. I thought, you can't discount Phil. Rami looked unreal in so many poses uh brandon i thought looks better than last year um i'm really happy for rami i thought that brandon was going to win but i'm really really pleased for rami winning it he, he could set up a legacy because once he's won 
who's going to beat him next year? If he comes in even better next year, nobody's beating him. Uh, Brandon, what I thought he lost on was that Rami's strength, which is his quads, is Brandon's got a slight weakness in his uh, quad size and it looked more because of that differential. But up till the end, I thought Brandon could still win it. Um, Phil, he made the whole thing exciting. He um, he he lifted this Olympia up to where we are all thinking we can't wait to see him. Most of us thought we couldn't see him lose. But then when we saw the comparisons, it was really, really nip and tuck between them. Um, Hadi, he started off quite low down in the comparisons. I think fourth place is fair for him. Uh, I don't think he was as good this year as last year. I thought he was good, but not as good. And Bonac, I thought prejudging, he was well off. I thought he improved a lot for this show tonight. Um, last thing I want to say is the new guys, Hunter, Justin, Akeem and Ian, all look spectacular. I would say that's the best ever Ian I've seen and the best ever Akeem I've seen. And well done to everybody. And AJ, great job. Thank you. All two weeks. And Chris, great job by you as well. And maybe see you again in our time. Thank you very much for that. Give me a clap. That was nice to hear your Thank you. opinions. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm Mr. Amir, IPB Pro Judge. Uh, what's, give me your take. Just your of after this Olympia experience. What's your Olympia experience? Uh, first of all, I have to say thank you to the Don and Jack who did a, did a great job. In two weeks, they managed to move the Olympia from the country. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. This side and the, to the other side. And uh, with the help of Timur and Tarek. Correct. A great job. Good yeah. job. And uh, to be honest, uh, everybody was did a good job in the open class, especially both all the other class was good as well. Uh, Big Remy, he come lighter than uh, uh, previous competition he did, and he was in good condition and good shape, and he well deserved that uh, win. Hadi and uh, William was heavier than it they was before. Both of them was like seven, eight kilo heavier, and uh, I mean it was a little, it was fair placement to be honest. Uh, Phil did a good job. He bring a lots of uh, competition and bring a lots of uh, excitement to the competition as well by coming back. I don't know if he's done it, if he's gonna do it again next year. I don't know, but uh, it was good to have him again. Uh, the yeah, bikini girls, beautiful bikini girls as well. Chris Pumpset, he did a good job. He well deserved that. The guy who got the second place, beautiful physique. He can he can do it again and he can be in that competition as well. Who want me to talk about who won two as well? You have, it's your time. You talk whatever you want to talk about. Okay. Uh, Sean, the guy who won that uh, two won two, beautiful, very symmetrical, symmetrical physique, condition, everything was good. And he still can gain a lot of weight. He was just like 170 pounds, like 80 kilos. He still can weigh, gain like 30, 30 more pounds. So think if he gains some more pounds, like 10, 15 more pounds and come back, nobody can be in a work. He gonna, and he's young. He's like 27 years or something. So he's going to be the champion for many years from now. Interesting. Yeah. So... That's uh, my opinion, and uh, yeah, the guys in the men's physique they get they are growing and they're getting bigger and bigger. Some of them perhaps soon should move to the classic physique because you can see under the short they have a big leg as well. You made the same point. So many of them perhaps gonna change the class soon, and uh, the other way around, many of the guys in the classic physique perhaps should, should to go to the men's physique as well, and it's possible. So to find the correct uh, class to compete is very important as well. All together was a great show, beautiful stage. Everything was well done. Bob on the stage, voice of the Olympia, everything. Everything was cool. I liked it a lot and I, I enjoyed it. And uh, thank you. Thank you for that. Chris? 
Okay, I want to say my Olympia experience was surprising. It was exciting this year. Yeah. Six different champions in in different divisions. I mean, Friday night I was when Missy jumped off that cage. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, Oksana had a great. She came out first, and she did that uh, like flip twist, and I was like, "There's no way anyone's going to beat this." Then Missy jumped off a cage. So that just kind of set the tone for the whole weekend. I mean, we've been pulling for Misty for a while. I know I'm talking about fitness. I should be talking about the men's divisions. But, I mean, I was very happy about that. Yeah. And then the 212, that was a battle. That was Kamal and Sean Clarita. That was a fight. That was an epic fight. Sure. And, I mean, Clarita came up in top, well-deserved, great guy. Kamal, excellent champion. Another great guy. And then we come into tonight. Who would have thought, seriously, who would have thought Rami would have come into this weekend actually lean? I mean, it's like waiting for Cedric. It <laughs> happened. Hey, hey, hey. You know, it finally happened. And Rami even looked better tonight than he did last night. I thought maybe he'd get, you know, get knocked off. He was hard, massive. He won – God, he won most of the poses. I mean, I'd say probably the only one front front double I'd give to Brandon, just on the shape, but that was impressive. Chris Bumstead, we, we're seeing a big change in Classic right now. Since George left, Breon was kind of like the odd man out. And that's why you saw Ruffin, who has a beautiful, beautiful physique, coming second. Chris Bumstead, who had actually improved his back, coming first. And men's physique, it was interesting. It was a battle. I was actually surprised Andre didn't make the top five. I said the same thing. You know, he's a perennial guy. A lot of the guys who are big, um, Brandon Henderson, who's won, I've actually trained with the guy. He's big. I actually thought if he didn't win this year, he was going to move up to classic because he has a set of legs on. So that's interesting to see if he's going to stay there or not. Um, Hottie was fantastic. Hottie showed up. The battle between Hardy and Bonac was very good. Mm -hmm. And now we have a new generation of some young guys coming up. The best Ian we've seen. Agree. Justin was on point. Perfect he was. Um, Akeem. Beautiful mass monster. Yes. And Akeem's like finally got there. Like he knows what it is. He can taste it now. Mm, I agree. And, you know, Hunter was great, you know, for his first time. And... I just think it was an excellent, excellent end. I'm throwing in there, kind of happy for Janet to win. She's been the bridesmaid for so many years. And she's a class actor. It was uh, nice to see her get a win. Thank you for that. Are you finished? Thank you. Nigel? So I'm going to go with uh, my favorite part, and I was here, was uh, the 212s because I'm a short guy. Uh, I, I love the fact that Sean won, I you know, I didn't pick him to win, but I knew it would be close. Sean is in his uh, late 30s. You have to remember, he's like five foot one. If he's five foot one, that's incredible. I mean, he just, he packed on a great deal of size. He looked fuller. I mean, he looked crazy in person. If you thought the way that he looked on film was really good or video, the way that he looked in person was insane. And Camille did a great job as well, but... I mean, that level of conditioning and that level of pop that Sean had was incredible to see. Uh, then um, as far as the open class, I, I did tell you guys, Rami was going to surprise people. I'm very happy that that panned out. Um, I thought he looked fantastic. I mean, I really didn't have it as close as everybody else had it. Um, I was sort of disappointed uh, in the judging when it came to Hadi, I thought Hadi should have gotten second. Um, and I, I really didn't have Phil in third. But uh, all in all, um, I thought the judging was pretty bang on. Um, I thought it was uh, a really competitive Olympia. I'm, I'm very happy with the experience. Um, and I'm very happy with the newcomers as well. But I'm, I'm more ecstatic for Akeem because I know Akeem personally. And Akeem works his butt off. And uh, 
I'm glad that he's coming into his own and I'm looking forward to his future because I think that if he gets an invite to the Arnold, which I hope that he does, I think he could be a potential Arnold win- winner. Um, I was impressed with Hunter to a degree, uh, but I think it's a, it's a, it's a project. I don't think it's going to be, you know, you know, one of those fast progressions, but um, I, I like, I, I, I liked his shape a lot more in person than I, I saw him on video. So I was really impressed with his, uh, his shape. Uh, the women did a great job. Um, I, I, you know, Margie is outstanding. If you see her in person, I, I'll tell you anybody, anybody who wants to see a women's, a, a woman's bodybuilder, you see Margie in person. Uh, women's bodybuilding should be seen by a great deal of people. Uh, it's an exciting class. Uh, they did a great job. And uh, my last thing is, uh, it's a plea for the Arnold to please bring back the 212. The 212 division is crazy good. I agree here please. a lot. I would, uh, Amir, talk to your boys. Yes. Talk to your boys. You got you're the one with the big power in the pro league please tell someone that the people don't say uh, just tell them a lot of people really would like to see the 212 class back if it's possible because we really love the class we, we end it there Najin. no but you have something more to say because we have a pro judge and he can put that information and mm -hmm. say it's just that what the people want and it's you know there's nothing more you can do you don't decide but we're lucky and you are close with people in the higher ups and when they see that a group of passionate fans would really like to see it at least they'll take it into consideration maybe so nigel keep going please i uh, know i mean that's you know everybody did an outstanding job the olympia committee did a bang on job um you know and i actually think that it's probably a good idea for the olympia to change up on the cities um, I thought it was a good change. I've been going to the Olympia for years now in Las Vegas, and I think maybe they should make it into a traveling show. I, I thought it was interesting in uh, Orlando. Um, so, yeah, you know, someday they're going to have it in Europe as well. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree. I, you know what? I liked it better <laughs> when it was more of a, a international thing where, you know, Helsinki got it and some other countries got it. Nigel, uh, so I think Nigel the, I'm going to... The first time I interrupted you, I just want people to know if they consider it moving it, are we all willing? Chris, we're going to talk later. Are we all willing to help out if they would ask? Will we will we all be able to help out? I mean, would you be able to help if, if, let's say they. Definitely. Yeah. If you. So this is not like. This is how, this is how a regular fans and pro league judge, expert, expert. Lover, <laughs> judge, lover, everything, passionate, everything, photographer, what you showed in your production here. I believe the show was magic. This doesn't about bragging, but I haven't seen this in about, well, our feet. Wow. And that's, he captured it. So, you mm -hmm. know, so we have a team of a pro judge. We have Emilio. We have Ian Constable. We have so many people in Europe here. We are all ready to contribute. Are you finished, Nigel? Is there something more you would say? Yeah. Nigel, I'm no. Uh, Nigel, was there anything yeah, I mean, more? Because I cut you off. Uh, no, I mean, I, I think that it would be a great idea if it, if it went more international. I mean, the you know right now with Rami winning, it, it is actually more international now i mean they're they're really going to have to like move it to you know overseas whether it be the middle east which is a possibility uh Cubit. might be a little challenging but you know now it's become more international now you have the first non-us citizen to win it in a in quite a long while uh and the middle east is is a big is a big big bodybuilding hub so is asia so I, you know, I think that they're going to have to. Um, I, I think they they should entertain at least going halfway, uh, and and making it accessible to Europe, um, and you know, at least to Europe at first. They could start with Europe and then go and then go from there. Look, let the record show you got a regular job uh, with kids, and you never leave kids. But Amir, Chris. Are we ready to move or something? <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, Chris, please come in from the camera and give your three minutes or your final statement or from there or from wherever you feel comfortable. Before Chris starts, uh, the idea of taking the Olympia to Europe has been done before. We've had Berlin, we've had Helsinki. Italy, we've had uh, Helsinki, we've had London, um, we've had Australia. So it's not a new thing, but would it be difficult for them to organise? That's th Because the Olympia is a much bigger thing now with the Expo and everything else. I think when it was just a contest, it was much more manageable. Maybe it still is. It'd be a good idea. I'd love it in London. But but do you need the Expo? Because they've just proven well, Nigel, the fact that... Nigel, I'm not going to interrupt you, but this was not a debate. It was just our final oh, okay. statement. Okay. I know you love to debate. Last thing. Can you pre... Can you listen. Can you please announce how you pronounce Kamal to Nigel? Can you say Kamal? Kamal. How do you pronounce it, Nigel? Kamal. That's the first time I heard you say that. You, what do you usually say? I think I usually say Kamal. You say Kamil. <laughs> I don't think I do. But what? Okay. You don't... You, you don't pro oh, listen back. You know what? Okay, Chris. <laughs> uh, well, guys, it, it's, um, well, it's been an it's absolute possible. it's been an absolute pleasure hosting you in the Put Media Studios here in the UK. Um, AJ's put all this together uh, more or less single handedly. Uh, my job is the production and to uh, to get it out there to everybody. Thank you to MD um, to uh, allow us to do this on their channel. Yeah, thank, you. Um, thank you to all our guests. Um, but believe it or not, guys, this is my first Olympia experience. Wow. Um, I've never watched an Olympia in my life. Wow. Um, I've been in involved in bodybuilding now for around about six years, um, but not as a fan, not as a bodybuilder, um, but as somebody who provides a service to the industry um, and to able to be able to deliver what we've delivered this past 10 days, AJ. It's been a crazy ride. Um, it's been uh, an epic um, uh, non-stop voyage into uh, this game and uh, I really appreciate your time thank you uh, and everybody else who's uh, who's brought it to the table as well but uh, and thank you guys who, who are on the end of the uh, the call right now yeah um, AJ's been ringing you constantly messaging you constantly getting updates and feedback and things like that giving up your time for for our audience mm -hmm. and AJ mm -hmm. means a lot to him uh, me and everybody else who's been watching so uh, thank you to you guys for your expert opinions um, and obviously we've got uh, George today, um, Scottish guy from uh, who, who's living in London. He's driven a long way and spent some time with us. I uh, really appreciate your time as well, mate. Thank you very much indeed. And uh, thank you for joining us at the Pump Media Studios here in the UK. Uh, quick, um, I just want to add three minutes with classes and then my final adios. <laughs> First of all, have you noticed... People probably expect, I was like, oh, Brandon's losing, Phil's losing. Wow, Rami won. We are all happy. This is bodybuilding, yeah? Yeah, the best man the should best win. best man win. People champion award and a winner. Which Sorry. is a first. Smiling. Every, Phil Heat smiled after he won with the celebration hands. Brandon Curry smiling with the most beautiful teeth I've ever seen. <laughs> um... Sm uh, smile. Sm can I say something? Yes, please do. Uh, I just want to say the the result that we see on the small screen or whatever screen we see is not the same that that the judges see on the stand on the stage. Mm -hmm. We have to respect what the judges decide, and uh, I can't say the NPC judging or IFP Pro League judging is the most fair judging in the world. I have been judging for the other federation. I have been competitor myself for over 30 years. It has happened to me a lot of time here and there, but IFPB Pro League judging is the most fair judging in the world. And what the, what the judge decided is the, exactly that's the, that's the correct one. And mostly in the, all the competition that I'm judging, I can say 95 up to 98% are happy about the results. Yeah. So good. The, and good I mean, point. I mean, I gotta say, the way you did, you're a judge, but -judge. wait, 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 ex-judge, the way you've spoken in your wrap-up has given me more faith in the NPC Pro League system because the way you speak, 
You are great and you break it down, but when you speak, it's like a machine and it's too, you know what I mean? I'm very impressed and I'm, and by that, with the results, and also the, the only way to get the feeling we have right now is through the NPC. Because the mm -hmm. only way you can get this feeling is via Jake's Wood, Joe Weeders, Olympia. Yeah. You don't get that in any other place, but this is not the place to talk about bad about other, but the feelings we have now is there. Yeah. Back to the point. I'm going to tell it quick. I know it's late. Do you, do you see the energy I have? Do you see the smile? How many hours? I, it doesn't matter. This is not the time to brag. It's that when we see guys on Olympia and girls on Olympia State, Shanique Grant, Sara Vilgas, wow. What a show. Missy, Whitney, Oksana, what a show. Bikini, Janet Leo, we just found out her dad has cancer. She found out during her prep. She won her first ever bikini champion. She's in her 30s. Amazing. Sean Clarida, the shortest man, yeah. won. Figure, we crowned the greatest figure champion we have ever seen. In the four-time Sydney Gillen. Women's bodybuilding, me and JB, we're going to go all in on that one. On the female bodybuilding channel. You can follow us at you. Click in female bodybuilding channel at you. But it's created by me and JB. And when I go home to where I go, we're probably going to have some isolation thing going on. And I promise you, I'm going to be working more on that because I want to give this Olympic experience to you. I haven't had the time to do it. So I'm sorry if the updates aren't. But what we did get, we get some, we had money. So we did the... the um, updates we did get is because of this this brand so if there's a brand you want to su that supports the ladies is this brand and we want to give a shout out to phil heat labs because why he got robbed from his someone stole his company guys i don't go into the personal detail phil heat the great uh, that's wrong also to say one off because we have dorian we have jay cutler we have lee haney Ronnie. And, Whoever is the best, bodybuilding is a matter of personal, and I'm not the one mm. to say who's the best. But Phil Heat, they robbed him from his company. Now he put all his trust and faith into Phil Heat Labs. You were there during the tour I did with an ex-partner of mine in the UK. I hosted the first one. You hosted the first one, and you were part of, did you try some of the products or no? I tried some of the products. I'm, I haven't tried them all. I can't remember which one, but the one I tried, I did enjoy. So if you reach out to Phil Heat, I'm sure he will find a way to guide you. Did you see this? Anyway, where were we? Yes, uh, we were classes breaking up. Men's physique, we saw a former champion retain his title mm -hmm. that I don't think that's done before. He didn't retain, I think he won I mean, two years I mean, ago. He, he lost and he got it back, I yeah. mean, and Brandon, Hendrickson, yeah. he looked beautiful. Yeah. You see it? Just beautiful. Everything with him was beautiful that day. And he has a deep story behind it, but I would suggest you go to his Instagram or YouTube or wherever and follow him there. And he probably can tell you because he probably has an inspiring story. Uh, the last one is fake. We talked about, and let me go quick. Women's physique we talked about. So there's one thing I'm missing, two things. Women's bodybuilding for people. I'm going to go to female bodybuilding channel when I get home to where I'm from. Rest a little bit. But as you can tell, does it look like I need rest? No, you don't. No. Need. I, something happened to me. That's personal. If you want to know about it, you can go to my Instagram and I will tell you. But right now, so women's bodybuilding, is, it, it, it's so special. You got to go there because I want to do something special for it. But it deserves more than just one minute here. And the open class, all I want to say... I don't want to be it. every man I saw smiled Rami smiled Brandon smiled Phil smiled Hardy smiled Antoine smiled and so forth it was a great Olympic experience if we ever get the chance to give you that experience again I would I would work non-stop but when you do it with passion and joy it's not work. Find your passion, guys. And when you find it, no matter how long it takes, if you believe in yourself, no matter what you go through, and every person has their own story, so I don't care. My story is not work. Everyone has their own story. Follow your dreams. Never give up. 
and holler at your boy because I got the hookup. Uh, and s goodbye, everyone. That was a great experience. And I hope I see you again on the AJ's road to the O. And let's hope that's in Europe. All the best, guys. Bye-bye. Thanks to everyone for watching, and we will right. see you again Good next night. time from the Pump Media Studios. Good night, right. and God bless. Yeah. Yeah.